workers are under attack, what do we do? Stand up like that. Brazilian workers are under attack, what do we do? Stand up like that. I want to thank y'all for coming out. Yeah. My name is Omar Slam, business agent local 427. Yeah. We came out of the coming out, we actually we, we asked for a small group of people to come out today because the city's been making these allegations of people feeling threatened and things are being intimidated and things of that nature. So we wanted to come out there and show them what a small peaceful protest can do. But we wanted to talk to, we actually invited the commissioner to come outside, which we're getting no answer, nobody wanted to come outside and talk to us. But we actually wanted to serve him our demands. Because we're tired of our people being treated like, pretty much like they're the trash that they pick up off the ground. At the end of the day, we got people who have been out there since before the COVID crisis working without the proper PPE. That's right. In yeah. fact, we were two weeks into the whole pe uh, ep pandemic, excuse me, before the city of Ignacio started giving us PPE. And we still haven't received the proper PPE. We've been asking had for, for hazards pay for this department for years. And every time we turn around, we get some type of excuse, whether it's budgeting, whether whatever it is. They even go so far as to try to blame it on the job that our guys do. And I'm going to tell you something right now. When we spoke last week, we talked about one of our members who tested positive for COVID. That same member yesterday tested positive again. And in speaking to the city of Philadelphia and asking them about making sure that our members are safe and protected, they gave us the runaround about how they're trying to get everybody together so we get everybody the proper testing. I don't want nobody to die while doing their job. And at the end of the day, we have a list of demands, and I'm gonna read them out loud, I, I, I think it's very reasonable. The proud members of Ashby District Council 33, Local 427 of the Philadelphia Streets Department have continued to provide essential service to our city throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. As sanitation workers, we've come to physical contact with every household, business, and institution in our city, putting us at high risk for infection. We have yet to continue to work without sufficient PPE and a living wage. We work in a dangerous condition even after the pandemic. Many of us do not survive to see retirement because we regularly handle hazardous materials without protection. Just compensation for our sacrifices is all we're asking for. And safety equipment to protect our lives and our families. Because at the end of the day, that's what we come to work for, to provide for our families. It's all what we do. We had a very beautiful rally last week. And we actually exposed a lot of the faults of what the city was doing. Since then, the city has threatened several of our employees with suspension and even terminations. We have some guys who they actually went back to the files and actually changed their time. And what they're trying to say is that these employees use unauthorized sick time. Understand something, our sick leave policy, sick leave does not have to be authorized. And you not you cannot control and bully our people into coming to work. And we're tired of it. We're willing to be peaceful. But we want to we want our voice to be heard. Yeah. We want to make sure that our people are safe and protected, so they can go home and take care of their children. Yeah. And I'm glad I don't want to put him on the spot. But one of my guys who's actually facing discipline, who's actually a part of management in some degree, is out here with his son. That little boy deserves to have a father who can safely protect him and provide for him. Yeah. 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 Right. And to tell him that the lives of his family don't mean nothing is totally unacceptable. Yep. Right. Right. And at the end of the day, we are not going to stand for these bullying tactics. Nope. We are not going to allow them to tell our people right. that they do not have the right nope. to stand up and speak for themselves. Yes. Right. And that's all what it's about. We had one guy who actually tested positive for COVID. He gave his story and the city tried to discipline him through a bogus social media policy saying that he could not have the right to speak up for what he experienced. What? And no time that he trashed the city. He only talked about his experience. But for the commissioner not to even, I don't even know if he's here. Which is the amazing part about it. Because you demand that our employees go out there and work. But I'm quite sure 60% of that building is home right now. Been home. And like I said, we made the effort to come out here small and peaceful. But we are not going to stop until the people that we represent get what they deserve. Yo, uh, my name is Salim Rashid. I've been with sanitation for 14 years. I've been a union, I was a union rep for six years. So I was used to all of this rallying and fighting, standing up for what's right. And I may be a part of management, but it doesn't mean I'm not in the union. It doesn't mean I don't care about the workers and the men and women, I, men and women I'm in charge of now. Right now, I'm facing discipline because simply for coming to a rally. That's it. 
They want to make an example out of me to silence me. And I won't ever allow that to happen. Right. I'm going to continue being a union member. I'm going to continue to support the union and support workers' rights. Yeah. 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 I've got another one of my guys right now who's currently facing a discipline. His charge for attending a rally was insubordination. But not only has he dealt with that, to show how abusive the city is, every time this guy's up for a promotion, they take some kind of, they find some kind of excuse to not promote him. This is something that he's constantly dealt with. And we've dealt with this. We took this labor relation. We told him that the cities, the bullying taxes has to stop. Yep. Yes. And one of the reasons I think that he falls under scrutiny because he was one of my shop stores. He was a damn good shop store. And right now, currently, he's my sergeant of arms. And right now, every time, like I said, just recently, he was turned down to not a promotion based off of his relationship with the union. This, this is the type of stuff that we deal with totally. I know you don't like to talk. You want to go? You want to, there you go, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all ready? Oh, y'all ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come to Williams. Come outside. 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 When city workers are under attack, what do we do? Stand up. When city workers are under attack, what do we do? Stand up.